Welcome back to Cardades.org. Today we are going to be looking at the final video in our series, A Theory is Just a Theory Under Determination in Scientific Theory. In this video, we're going to be looking at the question, are our theories correct? And talking about the problem of transient underdetermination. Now, we didn't really talk about transient underdetermination in the first video because it's a type of contrastive underdetermination that we talked about in the last video. However, the contrastive underdetermination problem we talked about in the last video was only dealing with empirically equivalent theories, basically theories that are and will always be equally well confirmed by a data set. However, non-empirically equivalent theories are theories that are currently equally well confirmed by the data and by the evidence, but won't always be. That there is something out there that might change or might happen that would cause the theories to go in different directions. And yet they're still both equally well confirmed by the evidence that we have. So something is transiently underdetermined when you have two different theories that make different predictions about the future, but are equally well supported by our current evidence. So the problem here is that even if we don't conceive of them, such options have historically always turned up. Every single previous theory that we have has been shown to be incorrect even though we could not conceive of those non-empirically equivalent alternatives that we now accept. I've done a number of other videos on kind of this concept, though I haven't called it transient underdetermination by name, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. It seems to me pretty straightforward, and I'll leave you here with a quote from Stanford. So, in the past, we have repeatedly failed to exhaust the space of fundamentally distinct theoretical possibilities that were well confirmed by the existing evidence, and we have every reason to believe that we are probably failing to exhaust the space of such alternatives that are well confirmed by the evidence we have at present. So, to sum up everything we've talked about in this video series, we've shown that no theory is falsifiable. We can always call into doubt either the theory under scrutiny, or our other theories, or our ampliative principles in the face of contradictory evidence. Science as a method is irrational. There's no rational way to decide how to revise our theories in the face of contradictory evidence. And in fact, no theory can be shown to be true, or flat out true. No evidence can decide between empirically equivalent theories. And in fact, no amount of evidence can even show that one theory is more likely than the other between empirically equivalent theories. There's no rational way to choose. The only way you can choose is through your own personal psychological biases or by flipping a coin. And finally, Theories can't be shown to make correct predictions because theories that are non-empirically equivalent but equally well supported by the evidence that make different predictions have no way of being distinguished or shown to be more or less correct than our current theories until we reach such a point that the predictions are shown to be true or false. And even then we can call into question our previous beliefs about science and our previous theories. Non-empirically equivalent theories that are equally supported by the data have always emerged, and it's just selfish bias to claim that we are sure we have it right this time, in this very short amount of time. The only reason perhaps that you think that is the psychological fact that you won't be around to see far enough into the future where things will have so drastically changed that maybe, in fact, all the theories that you take as true right now have been shown to be false. So, to sum it up, no theory can be proven to be false. No theory can be proven to be true. The methods to create theories are irrational. And we cannot show that theories will continue to make correct predictions. Theories might be useful to do things, but in the end, a theory is just a theory. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.